So this is the main DNS control dashboard. And this is your overview in your account to show you your usage, um, how many domains you currently have, which domains have global traffic director, which is GTD. Uh, we have IP filters, geoproximity, and we have a real powerful feature in Constellix called pools. And so this gives you a quick overview on the usage. And as you go through the different things, um, you, know, you can obviously put your mouse over and you can see the usage of them. So we have a, a Friday you know, poll you know, that's configured and you can go through you know, individual things that you're using because these are the things that you're built on. Constellix does not have the prepackaged pricing that DNS Made Easy has. We'll say, okay, $30 a year, $60 a year, $1,500 a year. This is all the stuff we're going to include in. Constellix starts off really small. It's a few, you know, it starts off at a few dollars a month. And then as you add services, it goes up by a few pennies here and there. Uh, we price Constellix to be the lowest cost uh, service in the industry. The base cost may be a little higher than DNS Made Easy. If you're talking for a few domains, if you're talking a lot of traffic, a lot of these geo proximity, geo DNS features that DNS Made Easy does not offer. There's no one else in the industry that's anywhere close to the number of features that we're going to talk about today or anywhere close to the pricing. Um, as you can tell, we're not a very sales driven. We don't have a high sales overhead. Um, so we're usually about, you know, I don't want to get to the hurt numbers, but we're a fraction of the other competitors pricing. So one thing I want to show you really quickly in the interface, we get a lot of feedback in DNS Made Easy about, you know, viewing your queries, where your queries are coming from and everything like that. So a lot of users, if you've been in DNS Made Easy already, you already have seen uh, our real-time stats. Well, so we incorporated that. Um, that was actually built for Constellix first. We brought it back into DNS Made Easy to offer those features for DNS Made Easy. But it's the same thing here. Um, you, you come into your, you get an advanced query report where it shows you the number, I don't have any high traffic domains obviously over here. I have a message us and a report us domain, uh, message.us, report.us. And it shows you your, your total queries um, for that month. It also shows your breakdown for that month as well. Uh, so you can open up inside uh, each day and you can see the, 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 which domains are getting the queries. If you wanted to expand on anything in there, uh, and you can see the actual query breakdown, you can say which queries are these are the standard queries, are these geo proximity queries, are they queries answered with IP filters? Because this is all the stuff, the different things that you're charged on or, or um, build upon at the end of the month. And so you can, you can do all the individual breakdown. Um, also here you can see a top level breakdown of different domains. Um, you go in each individual day or vice versa. You go to the mains, you see the days, you go to the day, you see the domains. Um, you can get a little more details, obviously, every step in. And then, um, you know, for, we do have a pie chart at the end. Everything in this domain is answered with the standard query. Um, we have the IP filters, the geoproximity. And just like DNS Made Easy, we do have the real-time statistics where you can actually see your statistics coming from which all of our different data pops um, that we have our name servers all over the world.